Hi there, today we're going to be answering the following question. What is the molar concentration of 10% albumin solution? And we're given that the molar mass is 66,500 grams per mole. So the important thing to note here is that it's a 10% albumin solution. So it's, in a, it's inside a solution. So 10% is actually 0.1. So you need to think in your head, what would make something go to 0.1? Well, it would be 10 grams per, and because it's in a solution, 100 milliliters. 10 divided by 100 is 0.1. So this here represents what we're trying to find the molar concentration of. To find the molar concentration, we're going to be using the molar mass. Now let me just rewrite this down here so we have more room to work. 10 grams per 100 milliliters. And we're going to flip this, this uh, fraction over here upside down so that we can cancel out the grams. So I'm going to put the, the, this part here with the grams at the bottom. After that, I'm going to just multiply them across. So this is per one mole. And notice that molar concentration is in terms of moles per liter. So it's also a very good thing that we have the volume down here. But notice that it's in milliliters. We can actually fix that a bit later. So let's just multiply everything across. The grams cancel out. And we're left with 10 divided by this down here. And let's just leave this alone for now. We just want to focus on the grams in this little tiny equation. So what's it going to be? Well, it's going to become 0 0.000015. This is in terms of moles at this point. Because notice we've multiplied the 10 across to the right-hand side over here. So it would be 10 moles. So because we divided the 10 by the 66500 uh, down there, it became 0 0.00015 moles. And we still have the 100 milliliters down here. We're not done yet. I mean, this is t technically the answer, but it's proper to have it in terms of liters. So we multiply this entire thing, top and bottom, by 10. So this becomes, and I'll write it down here so I don't go off screen, uh, 0 0.0015 moles uh, per liter, per 1 liter. And that is the final answer. You can also write your answer in terms of uh, milliliters, sorry, not milliliters, millimoles. Uh, to do that, you just move the decimal point off uh, three, three to the right. So one, two, three. And you would also, this would be equivalent to 1.5 millimoles uh, per, per one liter, you can say, I guess. So that is the answer. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe for more videos and like, 